we're not taught the shit that's going to actually help us. You know, we're not taught how to navigate through bullshit versus, you know, authenticity. We're not taught all these things that kind of, I know this isn't a bashing on the school system. I'm not one of those kind of, oh, their schools are broken. Get the kids, you know, <laughs> like I, I, like that's so far out of my realm of understanding to even really comment on. But mm. I just think that there are things and there are skills that are so missing from young people's lives that that's why I think we're facing such a global epidemic of mental health cro- issues, like identity crisis and mm. all like this, this, perpetual discontent and that that kind of is with the young kids of today and it's it's a discontent and it's an entitlement Mm -hmm. and you see it like you know i work with like young people i've got young people around me a lot and you just see like these these kids are just never happy they're just never content with what they've got they always want more nothing's ever their fault they feel that they're they feel that they're entitled to the world Mm. but they're too afraid to go and get it because then they also don't want to ever be at fault for ever fucking up and being yeah like it's it's a dangerous mixture i mean i don't have the answer to how to fix that unfortunately Mm. i reckon um uh like a really interesting take on it was um i can't remember the fuck said it but um they were talking about like the generational differences and our grandparents uh, were, um, you know, suffered through the depression and all mm. that sort of stuff. And then they brought up our parents, mm. just teaching them completely about security. You yeah. know, get a job, settle down, like have family kids. Home. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously we grew up with that abundance and our parents are very secure and happy. And they're, well, you know, for the most part happy. And they're mm. kind of like, hey, you know, life is yours like take yeah. it by the balls you know yeah. and so we have this like real difference between where we currently are in society um and our expectation level being up here and a yeah. lot a lot of that stuff just ties into the fact where it's like well we're just not performing so we, yeah. do, we should just be bashing ourselves well it's the same as um like we talked about it in developmental psychology in some of the and developmental psychology and stuff as well and how di- like different parenting styles and how they've evolved and that kind of we were raised as well you know you said our grandparents sort of generation, they had nothing. Mm. So they wanted, and they had to fight and struggle for everything. So they wanted their, they wanted their kind of parents to kind of appreciate that, but at the same time, give them the world because mm. they didn't have it themselves. And then our parents are kind of like, you know, we, I know for myself, like, and you know, I love my, I have beautiful parents, both of them, and I love them both dearly. But my mum was so kind of like, you know, you can do anything you want to do. You're amazing. Even if you come 17th in that race out of like, 20 people like every you could just do no wrong Mm. and i think that that also just fuels the fire for a lot of these young kids now you know like i you know that was just the parenting style of the time was your participation awards for everyone that took part there's Mm -hmm. no winner at the end of the competition everyone wins because you just had fun yeah yeah. like which is bullshit because that's not how life works like it's capitalism teach them to fail fail exactly right yeah Yeah, like literally like okay okay. or or teach them to go okay you know what you came last you suck at running Mm. you're not going to be a runner yeah so stop wasting your time trying to be a runner and thinking fuck you know what i still keep getting these ribbons every time Mm. i go running Mm. like that's one of the big things i sort of like with the mindset stuff that I do with the guys when I'm doing the camps and stuff overseas or even with just people that I'm working with, Mm. like knowing when to push for something and knowing when to make something that you want to fucking work for it is a hugely, like there's a skill and there's a whole process that I outline for them to to working towards a goal, setting a goal and working towards it, right? Mm. I have a whole process that I'll teach these people to do that. But there has to be a point in time where you just like, there has, you have to be okay with going, you know what? Fuck, one, I either suck at this thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it's, it's, it's just—it's I mean, not, and it, it's not yeah. making me happy because I'm not good at it. Um, and you know, you can't do anything you want to do in life. Like, yeah, that's not yeah. actually yeah. true. Yeah. Um, so I'll stop investing time and energy into that because it's not a positive experience for me because it's not actually giving me any value. It's making me really like anxious and yeah, depressed yeah. and upset. Mm-hmm. And then move on from that, like being able to let go of things, being able to let go of when, you, when you're wrong, when you're not good at something, when you don't want to do something. Or like, you know, you say that, start with why. And what I sort of say to people is like, if you don't have self-awareness, if you can't figure out why the fuck you want something, then when you start working towards it, it's going to be wishy-washy. You're going to be like, oh, like make excuses and all this sort of stuff. And you're not going to, you're not going to get towards it. Mm. And then you're going to get frustrated with yourself because you set this goal, but you didn't get it. But maybe you set a goal that, you know, there's all these different things. You've got to be smart, measurable, blah, 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 that yeah, fucking yeah. whatever smart it is, goal. specific, specific yeah, yeah, yeah. measurable, attainable. But where does it say re- that within that, goal. it also has to be that you actually fucking want to have to do it. Like mm. you have to kind of want to fucking do it. That's the biggest and thing, man. Because like, we're not self-aware, good, we don't fucking you, know. Yeah, like you can set like a super accurate goal. Like yeah. I'm going to like lose 10 kilos by the 48th of January. Yep. 48th of January. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Like, yeah. That's really yeah. unrealistic, yeah. bro. I'm not going to stop it. I don't know if that's a smart goal. He's like, well, in our older days, it would have been 
open. You can do anything that you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, 48th we'll of January. We'll do it. We'll add 18 days to January for you, son, <laughs> yeah. because we'll do it for you because we love I think you. Could do yeah. it. Yeah. Because you're entitled to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're nah. special. You're different. You can have 48 days. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, you've, you, you're right. You just, you've just got to, if you don't want it, like, yeah. you, I mean, I, I was dedicated my whole life to make AFL. Yeah. I fucking frothed it. Yeah. Like, I thought I loved it to bits. Yeah. And then, um, you know, going through like retrospect and thinking of, you know, coming into this sort of person I am now, um, I wanted it because it was what society thought was amazing. This mm. is what society prized. Like, yeah. Sweet. Then I'd be famous. I'd have tons of money. I'd be able to bang tons of hot chicks all the time. And it's just like, I three, mean, three. Yeah, okay, pretty, pretty good. I mean, yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I still want it. Any oh, AFL players out there that are doing that right yeah. now? Like, yeah. you guys are doing a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't. We got uh, uh, well. all the money, getting all the pussy. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> career change potentially. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Plus, I you don't get any of those things. <laughs> yeah, we don't get much. Yeah, podcasting's not like that. Yeah, yeah, but like, I don't know. I just, I mean, I just didn't make me. I didn't know that it didn't make me truly internally happy at the time. And I think a lot of people. I don't know. This could be a bit of a sweeping statement, but I feel like <laughs> a lot of people just... What are you laughing at, Cut? <laughs> working salmon, did you say? No. Swooping statement? I don't no, That's what I... He said... I pick up every time, Cut. He said a swerking statement. Go did on, I keep going. Did not say sweeping statement? No, I know what you're saying. I thought you said swooping, but anyway. Swo- swooping. No, swoop- he said swerking. All right, so look, this could be a bit of a swooping statement. Uh, every, time, every time he fucks up, I pull him up. Just yeah, so you know, That's fair. It's yeah. good to have someone like that in your life. <laughs> it's good to have someone like that in your life. A swooping salmon, really. Um, yeah, but like, yeah. I, don't, I feel like a lot of people are chasing the wrong, the wrong dream. Yeah, one hundred percent. Chasing the wrong, oh. chasing the wrong. Look, how do you pick this up? I'm hearing so, everything I'm, slightly I'm, muffled, except so, I feel normally, like I'm yeah, fucking screaming. I'm so tired. I'm so tired from this, this trip today. I'm just, I'm picking up on everything because I can't let him get away because I'll just giggle because I'm just cool. So, oh. swooping salmon to say the wrong thing. <laughs> I am, do, you, do you know what? Within all of those kind of my styles, I think I got what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're right. I didn't swooping say salmon just fucking swooping don't want to do shit. Like people are doing the wrong thing. That's yeah. so true, man. The wrong thing, mate. The wrong thing. <laughs> wrong. Oh, shit. That's embarrassing. Um, but it's true and, it's, and it, it comes down to that whole idea that we're taught we constantly need to be working towards something. So, yeah, man, for we sure. feel that we need to work towards something so we just think, well, fuck, like what is a uh, thing to do and look like I've been through it as well like and I'm coming into this full kind of to bring it back to I guess CrossFit which mm. is how I initially met you boys like yeah. I didn't make the games last year I just you know, honestly didn't care if I made the games last year and I've realized that for me the greatest thing that I can use my athletic career for is the thing that I got the most value out of as an athlete it was not going to the CrossFit games it was not actually getting like you know hundreds of thousands hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram mm. it was not the kind of attention that I received for being an athlete that gave me the greatest satisfaction at all mm. it was when people reached out to me because of things that I was doing maybe in that mindset and mental health space and they said you know what thank you because of this 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 and this and then by no means do I believe that I'm in inherently a great person in any capacity however like to think that I could have a positive impact on people's lives in something that is so much in my opinion so much more fucking important than yeah, being impressed by sure, how quickly man. I can move a barbell sure. like that gave me such a new perspective on my involvement in the sport mm. and made me realize that maybe putting everything else on hold and sacrificing all these other areas of my life to try and make the CrossFit games was in fact not should not be my primary goal in life mm. when I then potentially have the opportunity to invest in my studies, to to go and work with groups, to do shit at least where I get to talk about this. You know, like I'm going with, are you okay to Western Australia in a little while to go and do a talk mm. about mindset and identity on this sort of stuff? Like these are the things that I get value out of in life. And if going to the games allows me to get a broader audience to be able to preach that too, awesome. Mm. Then that then that's 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 a good reason to do it in of itself. But yeah, like you kind of have to, I think, maybe go through a situation where you don't get something you think you really want, like you said with your AFL, mm. to realize that, well, there's got to be more thought that goes into whether you actually want what you think you want. Mm. And that's where self-awareness yeah. comes in. And like you said, like self-awareness is a fucking lost art. Coming up, you're going for deploy.